Although not born here, Pablo Picasso spent a lot of his life in Antipas. He felt particularly inspired whilst he was visiting the town and eventually bought a large house in Antibes and several others. As a result, there is a museum dedicated to him and his work in a chateau where he used to rent a room as a young and inspiring artist. Over 40 years since his death, during a dinner party, Picasso's presence is still felt everywhere on the French Riviera. The menu at the beach club Paloma proudly tells you that Pablo Picasso was a loyal patron. Local clothes labels announced that the great Picasso chose to wear their clothes. The Picasso Museum stands tall in its tower. He was born in Malaga in 1881, but moved to Paris for f further his work. Things were not easy at the beginning, as he fought hunger and cold in a grim shared flat, even burning his work on the fire to keep him warm. War arrived and darkened the world, and at its end he would move down to the south, to the light and color and the woman that would transform his work bringing playfulness and vibrancy after his somber blue and rose periods. He would live on the Riviera from 1946 to his death in 1973, creating not only the Cubist paintings that are so famous for, but also thousands of ceramics, sketches, fillings, casting, sculptures and collages. The Spanish was prophilic artist, creating more than 50,000 works in his lifetime. His colossal contributions have made him one of the most owned and most sought out artists of history. With his painting, Woman in Algiers, recently selling at a Christie's auction for 179.3 million, making it the most expensive painting art sale of all time. And of course, what people can't own, they can always be tempted to steal. In 2016, an elderly couple were convicted of concealing stolen property, a whopping 27-1 pieces of Picasso's unsigned work, which they've been hiding in a cupboard for 40 years. They protest their innocence, saying they were given them as a gift by Picasso's late wife Jacqueline, which of course still fails to explain why did they hid it in a cupboard for four decades. Other Picasso's works have gone missing on the Riviera, most famously the art theft of Dora Mar from a Saudi Arabian owned yacht called Coral Island. That was docked on the Antibes in 1999. Interpol suspected the yacht's crew of an inside job on behalf of rich patron, but the painting was never found and is no doubt sitting on a wall in a secret room somewhere. Ironically, Picasso was once suspected in an art theft himself. The painting in question not other than the Mona Lisa herself, when the Vinci's masterpiece was stolen from the Louvre in 1911. Picasso was brought in for questioning, and his passion for the painting was well known, but he was eventually exonerated. Because Picasso created so very much, he has left traces of his life and work behind everywhere um, along the Riviera. When he arrived in the south in 1946, he initially lived and worked in a Chateau Grimaldi, the tremendous building on the ramparts of Antibes, where the Picasso Museum is now housed. He is said to have been deeply happy in this time, looking out to sea and creating works full of playful playfulness. On his departure, he donated 23 paintings and 44 drawings, including his well-known work, 
La Joux de Vivre, which can still be seen there today. In 1948, he moved to Valerius, where he began a phase of ceramics, creating more than 4,000 in the Fornaus workshop. Picasso was by then a very wealthy man, with exhibitions in New York and Gertrude Stein and as his patron. He soon purchased a grand villa in Cannes called La Villa California, and the villa's tremendous sea views are credited with bringing a revived bourgeois to his work. The villa is currently owned by Picasso's granddaughter, Marina Picasso, who held an exhibition of his work there in 2013 to mark the 40-year anniversary of his passing. After a time in a chateau near Provence, Picasso moved to his final home in the medieval village where he lived with his final wife, Jacqueline Roque, working on pieces that were initially dismissed as begin works of an artist, past his pride time, but were later identified as the front runnings of neo-expressionism. You can see some of Picasso's work at the Mugin's Classical Art Museum, as well as photogenic portraits of the artists and his working life at the Photography Museum. For those who love art, and for those who love Picasso in particular, there could be no better place than the French Riviera to trace the master's footsteps and find the masterpiece and scandals he left in his wake.